But all the legends of Gallifrey made it sound so perfect. Well, perfect to look at, maybe. <laughs> and it was. It was beautiful. We used to call it the shining world of the Seven System. And on the continent of wild endeavor, in the mountains of solace and solitude, there stood the citadel of the Time Lords. The oldest and most mighty race in the universe. Looking down on the galaxies below. Sworn never to interfere, only to watch. Children of Gallifrey, taken from that family's age of eight, to enter the academy. Some say that's where it all began. When he was a child. That's when the master saw eternity. As a novice, he was taken for initiation. He stood in front of the untempered schism. It's a gap in the fabric of reality through which can be seen the whole of the vortex. You stand there, eight years old, staring at the raw power of time and space, just a child. Some would be inspired. Some would run away. And some would go mad. What about you? Oh, the ones that ran away, I never stopped. Now then, what about me? We have accepted your plea that there is evil in the universe that must be fought and that you still have a part to play in that battle. What, what do you mean that you're going to let me go free? Not entirely. We have noted your particular interest in the planet Earth. The frequency of your visits must have given you special knowledge of that world and its problems. Yeah, yes, I suppose that's true. Earth seems more vulnerable than others, yes. For that reason, you will be sent back to that planet. Oh, good. In exile. In exile? You will be sent to Earth in the 20th century and will remain there for as long as we deem proper. And for that period, the secret of the TARDIS will be taken from you. But you, you can't condemn me to exile on, on one primitive planet in, in, in one century in time? Besides, I, I'm known on the Earth. It, it might be very awkward for me. Your appearance has changed before. It will change again, and that is part of the sentence. You can't just change what I look like without consulting me. You will have an opportunity to choose your appearance. Oh. Oh, well, that's not so bad. But I warn you, I'm very particular. Here is your first choice. Huh? Oh, he's too old. Well, he's too fat, isn't he? No, he's too thin. Yes, that one's too young. Oh, no, that won't do at all. That's ridiculous. You're wasting time, Doctor. But it's not my fault, is it? Is this the best you can do? I've never seen such an incredible bunch. Since you refuse to take the decision, the decision will be taken for you. No, 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 I, I never said that. But I, but I maintain I have the right to decide what I look like. It could be very important on the Earth. I, I, people on Earth and Tatter are a great deal of importance to Earth. What's happening? What's happened? What's happened? The time has come for you to change your appearance, Doctor, and begin your exile. Is this some sort of joke? No, I, I refuse to be treated it. What are you doing? Stop! You're making me giddy! Uh, no! You can't do this to me! Uh, no! No! President, he's a war hero. 
Some of these men served with These you. men served me! All of you! On my command! I have a lemonade. Oh, you like a cliffhanger, don't you? So, you went back to your hometown? Something like that. Glasgow? Uh, what sort of Glasgow? Space Glasgow. And there was this gang boss and he wanted to kill you? Wanted to, yeah. All of you, every single one of you, how is that possible? What is it? Is the firing squad afraid of the unarmed man? You, explain. There was a saying, sir, in the time war. A saying? First thing you notice about the doctor of war is he's unarmed. For many, it's also the last. Sir. Is this a story or did this really happen? Every story ever told really happened. Stories are where memories go when they're forgotten. Not one more of your moves. That is an order. The direct order of your president! You leave me no choice. How many regenerations did we grant you? I've got all night. Excellent, General. You sent for reinforcements. No, he didn't. I did. Achieved a transfer and stuff. Splendid. But I don't think it's going to work. Why, what's wrong? They refuse to cooperate. I see. Well, we'll soon settle that. Show me the earliest, Doctor. But him too. So, but surely... Show me. He'll keep them in order. Well, you've been fiddling with it, haven't you? It was perfectly all right until you touched it. Now, if only you'd leave things to me. If we were to leave things to you, my dear fellow, we'd be in a fine pickle, wouldn't we? Well, Look, go again. you lost the image, not I me. I did not lose the image. I you said it. You thing. saw it. Look, it both of you. Look. Well, Look. Ah, there you are. I seem to be stuck up here. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, so you're my replacements. <laughs> a dandy and a clown. Have you done anything? Well, we've uh, assessed the situation. Just as I thought. <laughs> Nothing. Well, it's not easy, you know. Not as if we knew what that stuff is. No. 
Then I'll tell you. It's a time bridge. So I, I see. Now, what's a bridge for, eh? Well, uh, crossing. Right. So stop dilly dallying and cross it. No, wait! You, you, uh, you faded him again. I did not yes, fade you him. You saw him. Faded him. I shall ask. Just... But who was that? Me. 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 Call, will you? Heads. Hard luck. All right. Stand by to disconnect the force field. But what are you going to do? Now! Doctor, no! Choke it, sir! Time Lords of Gallifrey, Daleks of Skaro, I serve notice on you all. Too long I have stayed my hand, no more. Today, you leave me no choice. Today, this war will end. No more. No more. Somebody there? It's nothing. It's just a wolf. Don't sit on that. Why not? Because it's not a chair. It's the most dangerous weapon in the universe. Why can't it be both? Why'd you park so far away? Didn't you want to see it? Want who to see? The TARDIS. You walk for miles. And miles and miles and miles and miles. I was miles. thinking. I heard you. You heard me. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Stop it. No more. No more. Who are you? It's activated. Get out of here. Ow! What's wrong? The interface is hot. Well, I do my best. There's a power source inside. You're the interface? They must have told you the moment I had a conscience. Hello. Well, oh, look at you. Stuck between a girl and a box. Story of your life, eh, Doctor? You know me. I hear you, all of you, jangling around in that dusty old head of yours. I chose this face and form especially for you. It's from your past. Possibly your future. I always get those two mixed up. I don't have a future. I think I'm got one. Rose Tyler. No. Yes, no, sorry. In this form, I'm called... Bad Wolf. Are you afraid of the big bad wolf, Doctor? Stop calling me Doctor. That's the name in your head. It shouldn't be. I've been fighting this war for a long time. I've lost the right to be the Doctor. <laughs> I sent the invaders back to their own planet. Of course, I'll need the Matrix to jury rig a time loop, but that's... But how have we won? We've fought no one but a few guards. Well, it can't always be like the relief of Mafeking. Right. Don't shout at them. Don't shout. Have you ever thought of taking it up seriously? 
Taking what up seriously? Well, killing people. A little practice, you'd become quite proficient. What does... Come on. Excuse me, what... Do you know what... What does proficient mean? Oh, Doctor! Uh, Sir. Castellan, is the Chancellor still in his office? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Castellan, as Castellan, you are responsible for security on Gallifrey in general, for my safety in particular. Are you not, Castellan? Uh, that is silly, sir. Castellan, I don't think you're very good at it. That's just my opinion. I'm a president. Still, every oligarchy gets the Castellan it deserves, eh, Castellan? Uh, yes, well, never mind. Just clear up the mess, will you, one a moment? Is it over? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, uh, it's been a long, hard road, but at last, the future of Gallifrey is assured. Why, what are you looking for? <laughs> Sure, the message is from him. Oh, yes. Why would he do that? What's the mad fool talking about now? Hello, hello. Gallifrey High Command. This is the doctor speaking. Hello, also the doctor. Can you hear me? Also the doctor. Standing ready. Dear God, three of them. All my worst nightmares at once. General, we have a plan. We should point out at this moment it is a fairly terrible plan. It almost certainly won't work. I was happy with fairly terrible. Sorry, just thinking out loud. We're flying our three TARDISes into your lower atmosphere. We're positioned at equidistant intervals around the globe. Equidistant? So grown up. Just about ready to do it. Ready to do what? We're going to freeze Gallifrey. I'm sorry, what? Using our TARDISes, we're going to freeze Gallifrey in a single moment in time. You know, like those stasis cubes? Single moment in time held in a parallel pocket universe. Except we're going to do it to a whole planet. And all the people on it. What? Even if that were possible, which it isn't, why would you do such a thing? Because the alternative is burning. And I've seen that. And I never want to see it again. We'd be lost in another universe. Frozen in a single moment. We'd have nothing. You would have hope. And right now, that is exactly what you don't have. It's delusional. I, the calculations alone would take hundreds of years. Oh, hundreds and hundreds, but don't worry. I started a very long time ago. Warning the War Council of Gallifrey. This is the Doctor. You might say, I've been doing this all my lives. Good luck. Stand by. Ready? Commencing calculations. Turn me there. Across the boundaries that divide one universe from another. Got to lock onto his coordinates. And for my next trick, I didn't know when I was well off. All 12 of them. No, sir. Ah! All 13! <laughs> sir! Ah! The Daleks know that something is happening. They're increasing their firepower. Space-time parameters of the Matrix have been invaded by a creature from the antimatter world. We know its composition and how unstable is the magnetism that shields it. The creature must be expelled immediately if we are to avert disaster. Without knowing its purpose here. Its presence here must be our first concern. Antimatter cannot coexist in harmony in our universe. Lord President, this creature is here now because it bonded with me. To do so, it needed something very special. Full and precise details of my biological makeup. Now, I didn't pass this information on. Somebody did. The question is, who? We considered this, Doctor, but the implications are quite preposterous. Chancellor, can bonding occur without the full imprint of a so-called bioscan? Well, not to my knowledge. But the power of this creature is outside the limits of what we know, Doctor. 
Lord President, I asked for time to have this fully investigated. I'm sorry, Doctor, but we must deal with the situation as it exists now. The time factor involved leaves only one course of action open to us. Commander! You know that capital punishment has long been abolished here in Gallifrey. But there is a precedent for a situation like this. Have you nothing further to say, Doctor? I have a great deal to say. You can't do this. You must destroy the creature. Child, you think we have not considered this? The creature is shielded. We have no way of tracing it. So you're prepared to kill the Doctor? Commander! Remove the Doctor to the security compound. As soon as the warrant is issued, you will convey him to a place of termination. I'm sorry, Doctor. No! You can't! They're Executing not... me will not alter the fact there's a traitor at work on Gallifrey! Doctor, what is going on? Although you are currently conscious and aware, in fact, you died billions of years ago. Doctor? We have extracted you at the very end of your time stream to request your help. Once we're finished here, you will be returned to your final moments. Your death is an established historical event and cannot be altered. I'm sorry. Doctor, will you just talk to me? I'll try not to break your jaw. My jaw? I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Doctor, you can't do this. You know you can't. No, General, I don't know that. Everybody! Stay exactly where you are. No moving about. On pain of death, no one take a selfie. These people are unarmed. So are you. Doctor, I will not let you leave here. It's the sidearm of the President's personal security. There isn't a stun setting. I will not let Clara die. She's been dead for half the lifetime of the universe. If you try to change that, you could fracture time itself. Doctor, Lord President. Are you really going to take that risk? Doctor. Please. I don't want this. Put it down, please. Regeneration. And you must really like her. Why did you say that? You killed a man. You don't seem the type. You, you killed that man. You shot him. He's dead. It was him or you. I don't care. Yeah? Well, the difference is when you die, you stay dead. So does he. We're on Gallifrey. Death is time lord for man flu. Med team to sector 52, extraction chamber 7, regeneration in progress. Sorry, ma'am. Oh. Back to normal, am I? The only time I've been a man, that last party. Dear Lord, how do you cope with all that ego? Ma'am, where's the doctor? The cloisters. Where else would he run? Except into the greatest danger on Gallifrey. The hell of the Time Lords. I thought you said Gallifrey was frozen in another dimension. Well, they must have unfrozen it and come back. How? I didn't ask. It'd make them feel clever. <laughs> Happy? No. Tell me what a neural block is. Never mind. This way. What did you mean, human compatible? So what was it? The thing you took? There was only one way to keep Clara safe. I had to wipe some of her memory. Of what? Of me. All my travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power-mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization, decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core. Power-mad conspirators, Daleks, Sontarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. Take it easy, Doc. 
Doctor, these unseemly outbursts... Unseemly outbursts? If I hadn't visited Ravelox, as I then thought of it, the High Council would have kept this outrage carefully buried, as presumably they have for several centuries. I must agree. You have an endearing habit of blundering into these things, Doctor, and the High Council took full advantage of your blunder. Explain that. They made a deal with the Valyard, or as I've always known him, the Doctor, to adjust the evidence. In return for which, he was promised the remainder of the Doctor's regeneration. This is clear. Just a minute! Did you call him... the Doctor? There is some evil in all of us, Doctor, even you. The Valyard is an amalgamation of the darker sides of your nature, somewhere between your twelfth and final incarnation. <laughs> and I may say you do not improve with age. Madam, this revelation should halt this trial immediately. Surely even Gallifreyan law must acknowledge that the same person cannot be both prosecutor and defendant. The single purpose of this trial is to determine the defender's guilt or otherwise on the basis of the evidence that has been presented. Anything else is for the moment irrelevant. What? Doctor! Valyard! Wait, come on! Well, we leave him! That's a time! There must be another way out of here. He's gone! The seventh door. He must have had a key. What? The seventh entrance to the Matrix. Well, quickly, man, open it. He must be brought back. I agree. You'll never find him. The Matrix is a macro-universe. Don't go, Doctor! I must. Perhaps nothing in my life has ever been so important. Come on, Glitz! Help me! Doctor! Be silent. Come, let us return to the trial room. Why? There's nobody to try anymore. Come along, both of you. Clara sometimes asks me if I dream. Of course I dream, I tell her. Everybody dreams. But what do you dream about, she'll ask. Same thing everybody dreams about, I tell her. I dream about where I'm going. She always laughs at that. But you're not going anywhere, you're just wandering about. That's not true. Not anymore. I have a new destination. My journey is the same as yours, the same as anyone's. It's taken me so many years, so many lifetimes, but at last I know where I'm going where I've always been going. Home, the long way round. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.